Hello, I welcome you all. And uh, today we are going to be solving uh, this problem and it reads, uh, the wing of uh, the jet aircraft is subjected to a thrust of uh, T equal to eight kilonewtons from its engine. And the resultant lift force L is equal to 45 kilonewtons. If the mass of the wing is 2.1, uh, megagrams and the ma mass center is at g uh, determine the x y z components of the reaction where the wing is fixed to the fuselage a this problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. So we've got a wing here that is uh, subjected to a number of forces, the lift force. Um, we have uh, uh, the thrust uh, from the jet engine and we have the weight. And this wing, okay, will behave like a cantilever, right? It is fixed at A, right? So it is a cantilever, okay? So we expect to have uh, moments at A in all the directions as well as translation of forces in the Z and the x axis so let's draw the free body diagram quickly so our reaction in the z will be like this we'll call it uh, a z in the x we we'll have this we'll call it a x and in the y we are going to have this and we'll call it a y we expect to have moments okay about the z the z axis we are going to have this moment and using the right hand uh, right hand thumb rule we to have this direction like this and i'll call it m a z along the x to be like this okay and uh the thumb rule something like that uh-huh and this one is going to be equal to i mean it is m m a x and along the y axis it's like this and the thumb rule pointing like that and this one is m a y right we have all the reaction forces so what we need to do now is to apply the equations of equilibrium mind you we are in 3d so we have six equations of equilibrium and we are going to use uh, the scalar method of calculating this since uh uh, this, uh, the system of forces is not complex. We are able to work, out, we work it out easily. So let's start with uh, translation of forces. So summation, summation of forces in the X is equal to zero. What do we have in the X? We have AX, okay, in that direction that is positive. We have also the thrust force from the jet engine, which is positive. Uh, it's 8 kilonewtons. Uh, we have, what else do we have? I think that's about it. I forgot to indicate uh, the mass of the wing that is acting through the center of gravity, G. So we have the mass of the wing there. And uh, we've been told. It is 2.1 mega, mega is 10 to the power 6, so let's convert it to kilo, okay, mega grams. So we have 2 
point one uh, times ten to the power three kg. Okay, I'm converting into kg so that I I convert it to newtons or to the weight times nine point eight one. Okay, so nine point eight one is in meters per second squared. All right. So what do we get? So two point one times ten to the power three times nine point eight one. We have a twenty thousand six hundred and one newtons. So let's convert it to kilonewtons. So if we did so, then it becomes twenty point six. 20.601 kilo newtons. Right. Is that so? Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. So there we go. Summation of forces in the x direction. We only have one in the x, right? So this is just going to be equal to zero. Therefore, our ax is going to be equal to minus eight minus eight kilonewtons so it just means the direction that we chose the reaction is going to be in the opposite direction summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero uh, what do we have in the y y is uh, along the longitudinal length of by the wing we have anything mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's just a y is equal to zero great stuff so summation of forces in the z axis do we have something there mm -hmm. we do have what do we have we have the lift force resultant lift force which is positive so let me start with the, the reaction az minus uh, the weight which is 20.601 Mm, plus the lift which is 45 equal to zero therefore my az is going to be equal to my az is going to be equal to as minus 20.601 plus 45 so we have a 20 20 24 point three nine nine which is just equal to 24.40 kilonewtons, right? So we found the reaction forces. Quickly, let's find uh, the moments. Uh, let's say summation of moments about the x-axis equal to zero. Do we have any force that is going to cause a moment about the x-axis? Yes, we have two. We do have two of them. So MAX, okay, plus the lift force is going to cause a positive moment about the x-axis. So you have 45 times the lever arm. What's the lever arm where 45 is? 45, we have a seven plus three plus five. So this is 15, right? Mm -hmm. That is 15. As a lever arm, then we have uh, the weight. The weight is going to cause uh, a negative moment about the x axis, and uh, so it will be minus uh, 20.601 times uh, times 5. Do we have anything else apart from this? Mm -hmm. That's all equal to zero, therefore. The reaction force MAX is going to be equal to, grab your calculator, we have 45 times 15 minus 20.601 times 5. All right. What do we have? We have a 5. So this one is a minus, right? Minus 571.5. Uh, 995, which is just equal to uh, minus 
seven two okay uh kilo newton meters so it's negative so it just means the direction will change all right uh summation of moments about the y-axis do we have anything along the y-axis yes we do uh positive going that direction this one will be the other way around so the thrust is going to cause a negative moment right a negative moment so we have uh, we are along the y-axis sorry that was z along the y-axis do we have anything Mm -hmm. we do have the thrust is going to cause uh is causing uh a negative moment right in this direction like this right okay so along the y-axis we have the thrust so we have m a y minus eight kilonewtons times what's the liver arm that's 2.5 okay do we have anything else mm -mm, we don't have along the y-axis we only have one yes we only have one so is equal to zero so m a y will be equal to plus so eight by 2.5 why do we have we have 20 kilonewtons meter and the direction is fine then what do we have the last but not the least mz equal to zero so mz uh, do we have uh, forces that is going to cause moments mm -hmm. the same eight tons is going to cause a negative moment this one is along the along the z-axis all right so it will be maz minus uh eight times what's the liver arm the distance this distance there what's this distance this distance is three plus five so it is eight equal to zero therefore mz maz is going to be equal to 64 kilonewton meters and the direction also is fine all right so it's like we found everything uh we found everything so let's replace what we have here uh we change the directions uh m m m a x we start with a x a x is supposed to be the other way around so let me rub this it is supposed to go in right it's supposed to go in like that maybe i use green it is supposed to go in like that okay and this is going to be equal to this is equal to eight kilo newton going in az i mean ay is zero so it's not even there right we can even remove it it is zero and then what do we have az what is our az uh az is a uh, 24 the direction is fine so we'll just make it green also so that i'm consistent i'll make it green and then let me just have an arrow somewhere this is az this is az and our az is equal to 24.4 kilo newtons right a moment max um what do we have is negative so direction changes so direction changes the direction will go in it will go in okay so it's going in like this all right and this is m a x which is equal to um 
572 kilonewton meter right what about may may it is fine the way it is it's fine this is 20 kilo newton meter and maz is also fine is equal to 64 kilonewton meters i guess we are done i guess we are done and i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video share my video and subscribe bye bye and i'll uh, see you in my next uh, screen